Today, inshallah, we are going to see how to make our shell look absolutely stunning. We are going to see how you can add icons near your files and we are going to see inshallah how you can customize your shell with the colors that you like the most. And you can follow along if you have Linux, Windows or Macintosh. So let's begin, inshallah. The prerequisites to follow this tutorial is to have installed a GSH and it is really easy to install it. You have to follow the instructions on on my GSH website. As you can see here, you have installing GSH and you are able to install it really easily. We need to have a version that is uh, higher than 5.0. 0.8 as you can see and uh, let's check it out by typing zsh version if gives you an error that means that you don't have zsh installed and you can check your type of shell that you are using by typing echo dollar sign shell and you will get your shell for example in my case is showing bin zsh or you can you will find something like bin bash or other things so now with that we have checked that we have a new version of gsh let's check if we have curl or vget to follow ahead and install all, all my zsh so as you can see i have curl and not vget and uh, yeah now let's follow the instructions and copy this line here let's pass this line on the terminal and it will do inshallah everything automatically and uh, as a result you will have to see something like this if you don't see it that means that you have something wrong and uh, if everything work work fine you will see uh, this screen here Yes, it is super easy to install this framework here and you can install a lot of things with it. For example, a lot of plugins and extensions and things like that. So now it's time to install our team and to do so, uh, we have to go into Google and type power level 10K and you can click on the first result. You have to click into the GitHub page and uh, this is a theme to let us customize even more our terminal. Now under get started you should click into all my GSH and this is the way how we can install it just by copying uh, this line of code and passing it into our terminal. So basically now after cloning it, we want to change uh, a variable inside our GSA uh, configuration. So we have to go into our home folder by typing CD and the tilde. To change the file, you can use any editor you want. You can use VI like me or Vim or anything you want, VS Code, anything you want. And we should change the ZSR hg file and we have to look for uh, a variable called gsh theme and we should change uh, under the double quotes into power level 10k then slash and another time power level 10k just as it, it is uh, described into the guide now let's save and let's close our terminal If after configuring power level 10K, you find some issues regarding the alignment of the icons or the design, you should consider to change your shell. And this is what I have did. So don't worry, I have jumped a little bit just to show you my process after configuring power level 10K. 
and now I'm going to install a new shell and I will show you again how you can uh, configure power level 10k with those icons and all the stuff. I forgot one thing, before you jump into another terminal, uh, try to resize uh, the font size because sometimes it solves in this way. And there are some terminals that render better than others. And yeah, now I'm going to install iTherm. So yeah, let's install it. If you're using Mac, you know the story, just type brew, install, uh, that's just cask, iTerm2, and we are ready to start to install our iTerm. Now, after installing it, go into your application and open iTherm. And as you can see, uh, since I have configured the power level 10k before, it is all messed up, so we have to change it. And um, if we type ls, we can see our folder structures right now that inshallah we're going to change with another tool. But now we have to go under item, preferences, and change some settings. For example, like the uh, font. So let's head on into the text tab. Under font, you should select the font that is found into the Power Level 10K website, Meslo LG. Now let's go back and uh, for example, if you try to zoom a little bit, you will see that now it is all aligned. But, but uh, let's see how we can change our configuration. And to do so, we have to type P10K followed by uh, configure. So now it will do the automatic process of uh, aligning the icon, etc., to our shell. And it will give you some questions that you can reply to, so you can fix it and you can do some preferences. Uh, this thing here at the end will change the configuration file of the P10K. So you can do it even manually if you prefer, but yeah, I'm following the, this automatic process since it will make everything super easy. Please don't forget that at the end, when it asks you if you want to save the configuration file to, uh, to agree, uh, as you can see here, overwrite p10k.zsh and you have to uh, say yes. So, okay, perfect. We have just configured our fantastic shell and now the thing is that we want to customize it a little bit we want to change for example the icons the theme etc so how we should do this by configuring even more our uh, configuration files so let's go ahead and let's do it inshallah so basically you, you don't really have to do this command here it's just to show you all the files and we should change the uh, p10k.zsgsh file i'm going to use visual studio code but you can use anyone you like since this is a big file this is the reason why i'm going to use vs code so this is the configuration file of p10k and all the things related to uh, how you view your terminal uh, and the theme of your terminal is here and there are a lot of things that you can do and change as you can see uh, up we have our icons and you can scroll it and take a look at it and it is not really difficult to understand since it has a lot of comments that explains how things work. So there's one really important thing that you have to know is that you the for the color you cannot use just hex color, but uh, there are defined colors, a uh, number of colors that are from zero to two hundred and fifty six, and uh, this is a table of all the colors that you can use. So now we want to change the color of our apple, the gray one with the uh, black icon. So let's go into our file and 
into the line 179 uh, as you can see here 179 you will see a OS icon background and from 7 we can change it to 14 that is the cyan color and uh, now we can go into our terminal iTerm and uh, we have to close it to see our changes so let's close it and open it again and you will see your changes let me zoom a little bit so you can see it clearly and uh, as you can see we have changed the color of the first part now we want to change the next part the uh, part that it is now blue and we want to use it use some magenta let's see how we can do it so basically uh, to change it we should change the uh, their background variable and let's change it uh, maybe to 13 let's see we have to uh, always remember that you have to close your shell and open a new one okay it is more a pink i want more a uh, magenta one let's try to see the colors mm -hmm. probably i would go for a 200 i think it is better let's close and open it up again okay yeah this is better absolutely so right now we want to do another thing uh, let's create a new folder you can name it anything you want and uh, we want to initialize it with github so if you don't know what is git you uh, you should check it out you should install uh, git because uh, when you are on a git project uh, it is really cool because it shows you um, the the branch where you are and uh, if you have any changes to push and things like that as you can see it shows that we are into master uh, obviously you should do git in it to start your 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 git project and we want to change that color right here by the way you can change all the icons you uh, I, I i haven't showed it in this video but you can change your icons if you want that uh, if you want me to show you this thing here just let me know so here on uh, git status as you can see uh, under the uh, i think it was the clean background okay let's change it into the number 10 that it is lime green and we have to close and open again our shell as we did before so let's see our result so let's navigate back to uh, the folder where we have used git and as you can see we have changed the color so that's it and then now let's see the most important part and the most cool part in my opinion now we want to change the uh, color of our icons and we want to add some beautiful icons near the folders or the files to do so we are going to use a cool uh, tool called color ls that you can find on google it is made with ruby so you must install ruby before i'm not going to show how you can install ruby so please install ruby before uh, you can go ahead we should type color ls in our search engine and uh, you should click on the github link and after you go into the github page and you scroll a little bit down you will see uh, the instructions 
this is the final result and down you have uh, installation if you click into the link you will see the installation so now we want to open our terminal and before we go ahead uh, you should check that you have uh, ruby installed by typing gem and uh, if you enter uh, gem uh, you will see that it is working or you will get an error so let's quit and uh, yeah let's install color ls by typing gem install color ls if it doesn't work uh, remember to type it to type sudo before it i have typed sudo but now uh, in the video i have skipped this part so now we want to return back to installation and copy the fourth part, the source, the name, etc. And uh, we want to insert it into our uh, dshlc file, our uh, dsh configuration file. Uh, and let's do it by going into the terminal. So now we should check for the source keyword and you will find at line 82 and we can add our our command under the line 82 so now we want to go back into our documentation so now here we want to go a little bit down uh, uh, under recommended configuration and we want to copy the first line the alias and uh, inside the configuration file uh, we want to look for the keyword alias as you can see here under this uh, alias commented uh, command we want to add our uh, the one that we have copied and basically this command it uh, maps the lc to uh, this color ls uh, with these parameters so let's open our terminal to try it out and uh, if we type ls it is equal as before but uh, if we type lc this is our uh, final result so and uh, if we type only color ls without parameters this is what we we see so i personally don't like the when i type lc that it shows all this stuff so i'm going to change it and i'm going to remove some parameters and since i don't like the ls lc i will change it to ls2 so now if i close and open back uh, again our my, uh, my terminal if i type uh, ls is equal lc now shows other uh, results as you can see if you want you can add your parameters after lc so there is no problem uh, for that so right now i want to create uh, some folders and some files to show you how it will look like with other files so we can inshallah change uh, the color of our files and uh, things like that now to change the color of uh, these files etc and folders uh, the general colors let's say uh, let's go back into the documentation and here you will see if you go a little bit down a list of supported color names and uh, open this link here and you will see all these colors that you can uh, use uh, we should copy uh, this line here chippy the name etc uh, that will copy our dark color into the config color ls that we should create now okay go into your terminal and it's time to create our config.colors file and run the command that we have copied two seconds ago and uh, now we can open with the with our editor this file here and change it at our liking so now i'm going to tile our editor with the browser so i can see the colors that are available and yeah let's let me change like this so for example dir is the one responsible for the color of your directory so if we type now ls after changing it as you can see we have changed the color let's change it into another color 
and as you can see now after typing ls it will change in this color so you can tweak it at your liking and uh, yeah after you uh, you finish you can save and we have done so this is the final result i have created a new flutter project to show you the final result and after tweaking and changing things and after changing the uh, wallpaper this is uh, the final result and i hope that you like it uh, now the terminal looks a lot more beautiful and a lot better and yeah that's it uh, if you like the video Please, inshallah, support my uh, videos by subscribing and liking the videos. And let me know in the comment section the things that you want to see uh, in the future, inshallah.